Hello once again YouTube and welcome to another unboxing from The Domain. <laughs> Today you join us as we open a parcel from one of our patrons in America. This is very exciting because I don't know what's in this box. Oh! It's, <laughs> it's blind bags. <laughs> Lots of blind bags. What have we got here today, Dad? They're blind bags from series... That's the series. From the New Dawn. A New and Dawn. From New Dawn. Yeah, A New Dawn and... Clash on the Ring. Clash on the Ring. We've got three Clash on the... No, we've got more. We've got more. Five Clash on the Ring blind bags and three New Dawn blind bags. And I'm particularly excited to see the articulation in the New Dawn blind bag. The new articulation figures, they, they are they are well articulated. Can I look what else? Well, no, we got to do these first, Dad. Choose one. That one. Okay. Do we just open them or do we look at the codes? <laughs> That's a good question. No, we'll just open them this time. Oh, I got a green Spartan. And I've got... Whoa! It's a ghost. Is it a ghost? He's got the active camo, you've got it's the ultra rare. Camo. The ultra rare. It's ultra rare. See if you can build it. <laughs> I will give you no guidance. So this is active camo? This is active camo, yes. Does this make you invisible? Yes, it makes you invisible, but it's only for a small amount of time. What's a ghost? A ghost is a vehicle, you know, that purple oh. thing that speeds towards. My dad is actually quite knowledgeable with these things. He used to be the head builder for Bloxfest. So like every year I would get a load of sets and he would build them just in his spare time every evening. So, and then you would run the Bloxfest sales stall. Yeah, you? I was good on the Bloxfest sales stall. Yeah, we had some errors along the way. The, the second ever Bloxfest, we put all of the figures in like numbered boxes that were all different prices but the kids would just get random ones from all the boxes and then say like how much is this and no idea <laughs> we'd have no idea what was i going. would have no idea no all right here we go a green spartan from halo combat evolved very nice indeed i hope you guys also like the very first time we've used a dual camera setup i just got an amazing new camera from my friend spheless photo that's always got to go at oh, the bottom of the leg. Up? Yeah, there we go. In Halo Combat Evolved, there weren't many kinds of Spartans, so this is really cool. They came with kind of funny colours. I would have preferred red and blue, just so you could recreate uh, red versus blue. Maybe a pink one as well. You can see here, look, we've got common figures, rares, and ultra rares. So you actually, you, well... I, Am I oh, no. so rare that I'm not even on the show? No, no, you've got, you've got a different pack. Look, you're, oh, you're a rare. Look, the ultra rare is the Forward Unto Dawn. That's a Forward Unto Dawn. Forward Unto Dawn? Yeah. Slightly smaller than the... The, the big signature series the set, signature yeah. signature series set. Where's the other piece of the chest, John? There it is. For a first time building a new articulation figure, I gave it like a 7 out of 10. So, so this is a new articulation. This is new articulation. Old articulation is just like the ball joints. They come together in like five pieces. The new articulation is like fully interchangeable armor and has like way more points of articulation. And what's this thing supposed to be? This is a Covenant Carbine. You use this to pop someone's head off. A carbine? A carbine. Alright, there we go. We got two figures. I might open these in a separate video. We'll see how this gets on. I don't know how long this video will take. <laughs> Alright, so we've got some other figures in here. I want you to open this one first. Tell me what you think of this. That's a Master Chief. It's a Master Chief. Oh no, don't open it. Oh no. <laughs> It's in, it's in a special sleeve, look, you're not meant to open this. Oh, is this to be kept unopened? Yes, look, it says, exclusive outpost discovery. Ooh. Yeah, so it's a very rare exclusive. I've actually got the original here. You can see it's a little different. It's so cool, look at that. Now, here's a question. If this one, you can get this for about eight pounds on eBay. Knowing that, how much would you pay for this one? Well, if you're gonna tell me this is ultra rare. Yeah. So maybe 20? 20? It was given out at a Halo event, but only that one Halo event. Oh. I don't know. How much do you think this is worth? 120. 120? <laughs> no. I could have opened it then, actually. Yeah, you, you can't <laughs> open this one. It's in a little Let's sleeve. Open it. Yeah, this is a really awesome figure. I never thought I'd get my hands on this one. It's really exciting. So where do you think that will be in a hundred years time or 50 years time? 50 years time? Probably 20 quid. <laughs> <laughs> what else have we got? Um, why don't you pick one? What do you make of it? Speechless. <laughs> remnant Hunter. A Remnant Hunter, yeah. These are the Halo Hero figures, so they're... Can you tell me why they're, why well, they're special? Are these human? No, that's not a human, it's worms! <laughs> it's a special creature, it's made up of no, millions of... It. Yeah, we can open this. It's made up of hundreds of thousands of worms. Oh. 
There we go. So a hive mind type thing. Yeah. Now the thing that these are called hunters or let go low. And the interesting thing about these is they always hunt in pairs. So we've got a pair to hunt together. Hunt what? Humans. Well, they humans. hunt humans. They're part of the covenant. Could you tell me something about the covenant, Dad? Do you know what it is? No. I don't know anything about the covenant. The covenant's a religious order. And they want to kill the human race. Which game is that? All of the games. But this one is from Halo Wars 2. It's a brand new game. So this is a... Uh, it's... They're, they're from... You know the Banished? You know about the Banished now, don't you? Not really. Have you been watching my new videos? <laughs> so, uh, in the game, have we gone to their world or have they come to ours? Remember, the Covenant is a religious order. So they're made up of lots of different species from lots of different planets. So, oh. in the games, they are trying to find Earth so they can wipe us out. But at the same time, like we take it, take the fight to their worlds in some regards. Like you know, the elites—they're from a place called Sanghelios. Beans on toast. Beans on toast. Everyone's favourite hey. folk musician. Check, check him out on YouTube. What have you done? You've put this in the cannon. <laughs> if he was to fire this now, he'd blow himself up. What's going on there? He's kicking him, kicking him while he's down. So do all these aliens have to get together to rid the universe of the most dangerous species in the universe? Human race. Humans, yeah. All they want to do is activate the rings, you know, the halos. Yeah. And if you activate the halos, it sends out a pulse that kills everything. Kills, kills everything. Kills all known life, yeah. The, the halos were created by the forerunners to wipe the galaxy of the flood, you know, the zombies. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Well, it was to wipe the universe of the food for the flood, which were the humans or anything else. All right, then we've got two more Halo heroes today. We've got a Spartan Noble Six and... A Cortana, both Series 10. I'm going to keep these ones sealed, but they're really nice. You get a 343 Guilty Spark in this one. Cortana's coloured after the Halo Combat Evolved design. Oh, yeah. And she comes with an index key. This is the key that's used to activate the Halos. Why don't you take a look at this one? Tell me if you can name the characters in this bag. I think you might be able to. Not really, no. <laughs> well, that's Master Chief. Yeah, that's the Master Chief. There we go. Who's he? I don't he? know what that is, no. I don't uh, know. The uh, 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 oh, Arbiter. Hey, she got it. She got it. <laughs> the what? The Arbiter. The Arbiter. Oh, oh, the Arbiter's head. Yeah, the Arbiter's head, yeah. Then we've got some random figures as well. Can you tell me what species this is? No. Elite. Is that an elite? Yeah, it's an elite. There you go. It's an elite zealot class. This one is really cool. This is Spartan Emil, but he's smoke grey. Comes with a translucent shotgun, as he should. Emil always uses a shotgun in Halo Reach. Named after one of the characters. Oh yeah. Can you tell me what this is? No. Come on, you can! <laughs> That's the thing you've got in there. An energy sword. An energy sword. An energy sword. <laughs> so it's an energy sword like a, a lightsaber. Yeah, pretty much is, yeah, yeah, in, in many ways. It will slice through someone. All right, so we got two more bags today, John. <laughs> These are basic figures. These are coming like blind bags and they'll come in random sets. They're not like, they don't have much paint applications or many details and they're all very cheap. But then you've got the Halo Heroes. They come in the cardboard packets oh, yeah. and they've got way more oh, yeah. paint applications, loads of different colors. And these are all Halo Heroes, but they're not boxed. So this is called the Didact. What do you make of him? Oh yeah. What do you think his backstory is? Well, I'd have no idea. What, what is his backstory, Simon? <laughs> He's one of the foreigners. He was involved with the original Halo rings, and he was going to destroy the human race because they were ascending to a power level. Basically, there's a thing called the Mantle of Responsibility, and it's a term for the gods of the universe that says that the species that attains the mantle attains governance over the whole galaxy. The Forerunners, those metal machines, they owned the mantle, but then he was worried that the humans would rise to the power that they could own the mantle, so he tried to wipe them out, and then he was imprisoned in a sphere for 100,000 years until the Master Chief released him. Okay, there's his golden display stand. It's there's a nice. Doctor Who episode similar to that. <laughs> With the Daleks. Well, didn't they put the, the Doctor in some kind of... The stasis chair, stasis. yeah, 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 stasis they did. Chain. Pandora's box. Yeah, yeah. they did, yeah, yeah. They, yeah. Same plot, really. Except he gets released like a year later or something. 
All right, here we go. This is a very interesting figure. What do you make of that? Now, this is this is very expensive. What? Why would you pay forty pounds for this? What is this? Someone put this together. No, this is an official an figure. Camo. No, it's official. This is called Julam Dharma. He controls like a cult section of the Covenant called the Didax Hand. So they're like cult worshippers of this dude. Oh yeah. And then we've got this little guy here. This is <laughs> this is called Yap Yap the Destroyer. It's a grunt, isn't it? It is a grunt, hey, well done, Tom. Hey, yeah. Yeah, this is called Yap Yap the Destroyer, and he basically, uh, he's in Halo Wars 2. He's not really canon, like he's not canonical, but he just like drives mech suits and tries to kill people. He's just like comic relief, really. Oh yeah. And then we've got a display base for a meal because I'm missing mine. What do, you, what do you think of today's haul, Dad? That's very interesting. Yeah, we've got one more bag today. And to learn something of the lore. <laughs> Halo. <laughs> This is called the UNSC Marine Defense Showdown, and this is a four-figure pack that's based on a mission from Halo 3 called Crow's Nest. It comes with two Marines. These are from Halo 3. They're based on the Halo 3 art style. You yeah. like them? Yeah. yeah, nice, yeah. It's nice to differentiate the skin tones, too. And then we've got two drones, and these are members of the Covenant, too. They're called Buggers, and they just fly around and just, they're really hard oh, yeah. to shoot. They're called Buggers, <laughs> yeah, they are, yeah. And then we get loads of accessories with that, too. Oh, yeah. So these are the wings for these. These are the wings for the Buggers. Do you want to try and build one? One of the biggest additions to Mega Bloks recently is muzzle flares. Look at that, so you can actually oh, have yeah. your gun firing. Yeah, particularly useful for a diorama. <laughs> exactly, exactly. So if you were doing a diorama, you could have these suspended, like on cotton, so they appeared to be flying through the air. Yes, you could. You could have them suspended on that. Oh, is that what that's for? You may also notice, John, that there's quite a lot of gold weapons. Oh, yes. Yeah, do you... <laughs> <laughs> Why are they gold weapons? So, I mean. the gold weapons came out in the 10th anniversary of Halo Mega Bloks. So they were celebrating 10 years of construction toys, and they released a wave of loads of different sets in the 10-year line. The Didact was one of them. Look, he's got the gold gun the there. with the golden gun. And then these guys came with a trip mine. This is just like a mine that you can throw down and blow oh, yeah. someone up with. Alright, do you want to choose a favourite figure for today? Well, this is really nice, isn't it? You like the didact, yeah. yeah. I like the didact. It's got some really nice paint applications, doesn't it? I love this Jolum Dharma. It's one of my favourites. Look at all the detailing on the energy sword there. Oh, yes. Yeah. All right. Well, thank you very much for joining very me today, Dan. Wow. <laughs> so much of this goes back to Edgar Rice Burroughs, a Princess of Mars. <laughs> Foretold a lot of this. Yeah? Well, Edgar Rice Burroughs, Princess of Mars is basically Star Wars. But a lot of the content is is from Edgar Rice Burroughs. You think he, he designed a lot of this? Well his imagination foretold a lot of this and it's the like the source code for a lot of this science fiction. Thank you Edgar Rice Burroughs. Should we s sign off with a one of these what are these called? Remnant Hunter. Remnant Hunter. So you say this was another video. This with... was another video with the domain <laughs> signing off with a Remnant Hunter. <laughs> Bye for now. <laughs> Brilliant. You guys are brilliant on camera. That was again. so wow. good. That was good. What do you that think of it all? Good. That's great. Good. That's about it, man. Like that was awesome. Good job. <laughs>